Two minute anesthesia and critical care, key pharmacology drugs including Tazacin. Let's go. The combination of piperacillin with tazobactam provides a broad activity against beta lactamase producing penicillin resistant bacteria. This combination was approved in the US in 1985. The Tazacin formulation enhances the antibiotic spectrum of piperacillin to include beta-lactamase producing bacteria which are normally resistant. It has a bactericidal action against a range of bacteria including gram-negative, positive and anaerobes. It is used in the management of severe infections including pneumonia which can be hospital acquired or ventilatory associated, complicated UTIs, intra-abdominal and soft tissue infections. Each vial contains piperacillin as a sodium salt equivalent to 4 grams and tears of bactum as a sodium salt equivalent to 0.5 grams. It's reconstituted and infused over 30 minutes in a solution of 100 ml of 5% glucose to avoid high sodium loads. Action. Piperacillin irreversibly binds to penicillin binding proteins preventing the propagation and formation of the bacterial cell wall. And tears of bactum, as mentioned is a beta-lactamase inhibitor. It's given by the IV route at a range of doses in adults at 4.5 grams over 6 to 8 hourly based on indication. The side effects are broad and include nausea, diarrhea, myalgia, skin reactions and thrombocytopenia are the most common. The following pharmacokinetic principles are based on piperacillin. It's given by the IV route so it has 100% bioavailability. The protein binding is 30%. Volume of distribution is 0.2 litres per kilogram and a pK of 3.2. It's largely unmetabolized with a half-life of 60 minutes and excreted unchanged in the kidney and therefore dose adjustment is required in renal dysfunction. The two main mechanisms of resistance are alterations of the penicillin binding proteins and also inactivation of the piperacillin component by those beta-lactamase that are not inhibited by tazobactam.